hi guys welcome back to the channel or welcome if you're new here thank you for joining me today so so today guys i'm going to be doing a drugstore lipstick collection and declutter and then that will be the end of the collection and declutter until we get to the colourpop collection which i'm hoping to do in the next couple of months but i haven't used every single palette so i can't I can't do the least favourite to favourite on the bigger eyeshadow palettes I have in the collection. Um, I'm not too sure if I'm going to be decluttering anything. So it might just be me showing you what I have in my entire Colourpop collection. There's 30 palettes in total. If you do want to watch my least favourite to favourite 9 pan eyeshadow palettes by Colourpop and you've not seen it. I'm going to leave it in the card section here so you can go and check that out. But now we're going to go over to the vanity and I'm going to show you all my drugstore lipsticks. So let's, so let's head over there. Right guys, so we'll start off the same way we did the other day. We'll start off with the drugstore ones. That are in my shop, my stash. Um, so let's get them. And I'll swatch everything. I think that's everything. Yeah, because there's one back there, but that's not drugstore. So let's just start with these and then we can put these back. So we've got a Primark one here, guys. This one is the PS Lip Liner and Crayon Duo. So on that section you get a really nice red liner which is that one there I'm only, gonna, I'm only gonna do small swatches again and then in this section you get the lip crayon to match and it's just in the shade red and it's a matte red as well which is nice so that can go back there then I've got this Mega Last Liquid Cat Suit. It's the Wet n Wild in Bud Romance. It's quite new to the collection. It's the it's a purple tone lip gloss. So that's that one there. So again, that one can go back. Then I've got this. This is new to the collection as well. I saw a few of the ladies in Married at First Sight Australia wear a shade similar to this. Now I've been trying to research what kind of shade it is and what brand it is and it said that it was probably a MAC lipstick as MAC makeup artists do the ladies makeup. I don't know how true that is um, but it did look like a similar shade to this one. And I saw this on a very old video that Makeup by Missa did. I think that's I think that's a YouTube channel. I don't really watch her channel. I think it might be Make Me Up Missa. But whatever it is, I'll let you know just here. I'm sure you all know who I mean. She's really, really popular. And she put this on and she looked absolutely gorgeous in it. She was testing drugstore and um, I'm going to put it here by this red. Then you can just see how vibrant it is you'll be able to tell more when it dries down um, so yeah it just says it's an ultra smooth matte lip cream the only other one I've tried is a birthday suit and that was quite nice but it went bad and I had to throw it out that one is high end this one is drugstore it's just a clear lip gloss guys with a few gold and silver and peach glitters in it but you can't see them on the lips i'm gonna give it to my niece so so that's a declutter um and then i think we've got a few drugstore here my friend courtney from courtney Shanice reviews sent me a friend mail package and she sent me this lipstick it's in the shade midnight merlot it's one of their bold lipsticks and it definitely is a bold shade it's 885 i mean look at that look how dark it is and vampy i, I put it in this little compartment here because i want to try it with a plush like me palette It's not a colour I'd wear all the time and it probably won't even look nice on me um, but that's the shade there. So that's staying in there for now. All these are high end like here. Um, we've got a couple of wet and wild ones here. 
so let's show you these ones so this one is in the shade wine room one of my favorite drugstore lipsticks well neutrals anyway that's matte you can see i've definitely got a preference and then this shade is in the shade in the flesh this is also a wet and wild one um and that's also matte then the only other i think it's the only other one that i've got drugstore one is this revolution one that i want to test out and it's in the shade controversy and i won this in shab's giveaway this one is more of a cream um but yeah i'm really looking forward to trying it and then all the other ones are high end so let's put this away let's put these back on here and i'm gonna go and get my drugstore lipsticks now for you guys right guys so we've got another lipstick holder it's bigger than the one on the actual unit that i store on my shop my stash in so i think we're just going to do the revolution ones first so i've got all these here and then these two here so we'll do them i don't know if i'm going to be able to get rid of any of these certainly not the revolution ones up to this point and probably not the soft ones that i've got um so let's just swatch them so we've got oops that fell out so we've got this shade here it's in the shade greatest real real pretty then we've got the shade prime that one there that one's just a bit i would say cooler then we've got the shade lifelong that's such a gorgeous everyday nude right my street with it being more pink leaning right we'll do classic last then we've got the shade awaken which is more peachy i want to try that before i declutter it but that could potentially get decluttered um then i've got the shade triumph really like these for autumn and winter so these aren't going anywhere and then i've got rebirth this is another favorite i, th I think i actually like rebirth more that one's matte i think that's why i like it more and then i've got the shade classic which is of course a classic red then moving on i've got this revolution pro one um this one is in the shade seclusion and i don't know why but that has come off i don't know why it's come off but this is a gorgeous shade guys it's like a purple gray which i absolutely love um so we do wouldn't i do need to use that more then we've got the soft ones the revolution and soft x so we've got the shade cake which is my favorite out of the two isn't that beautiful and then this one is in the shade syrup which is dark it's like a dark brown do it here so that's syrup so that's cake which is more pink leaning and then that's brown and then they had a fudge which was even deeper um, but i didn't really i didn't really want that one so they're all the revolution ones um, well the majority of them are some of them are um, from the shop my stash um so yeah we're gonna take these off now and then i can go and do the essence ones i think we'll do them next why do i feel like someone's ringing me no it's obviously my ears um right so then let's just sort these out okay so i've got 
four essence ones so let's start off with these I don't know if I'll be keeping these so this is from the this is me range that they did so the idea behind these is that um, they did lipsticks for people with fair skin medium skin and deep skin tones um, this one is one of the darker shades I think that's for medium skin tone so I'll just swatch the ones that are for my skin tone so we've got two so the saying that I should wear shades like that basically so we've got two and I do normally gravitate towards shades like that so I'm definitely keeping that one anyway um, then we had five and six five Five is quite brown, I don't know why I bought this one. It's quite cool though. I might I might try it because it might look better on me than I remember. If I don't like it on, then it's potentially getting decluttered. Um so it's on the chopping block basically and then there's this one which is this is me 06 so these really are for deep skin tones but I do actually really like that one just not too sure about that one and then this one is from a different line so this one is apparently a matte but it comes off so easily guys it's a beautiful beautiful shade don't get me wrong and it is a matte it just doesn't stay on the lips for a long period of time um, I'm gonna keep it and again it's a potential declutter so it's on the chopping block let's put that there, put that there. right there's another like this one is MUA so it's Makeup Academy which I don't know if it is anymore but it used to be run by Makeup Revolution I think they're all under one umbrella still and it's one of their glow lipsticks it's a satin lipstick and it's in the shade hot coral I think I'm gonna keep this one because from what I can remember I really do like it and it's very me isn't it the only thing that it's not is matte um, but I can blot it and make it look matte so I can use a tissue and blot it then I've got a couple of Primark ones these are so inexpensive guys they're like £1 or £1.50 and they are quite nice um, I think this one was in the shade Gossip the only thing that drives me insane about these lipsticks is the fact that the stickers aren't on there they're on the plastic packaging when you buy them but then they're nowhere on the lipstick um, but, but I bought this one recently so I remember the name so that's that one since it's a fairly new lipstick I do want to keep it and then this one here is Velvet Touch this one's got a sticker on it so I feel like it might be kind of a mistake that not having one on and again I feel like that's on the chopping block so I've not used it for a while so I need to bring it out probably in May shot my stash then I've got this one this is one of the lusters this potentially could go I think it's called skin on skin alright so it's nice yeah I'm gonna give that to my niece um, I don't really wear like glossy lips it's very rare right so one has gone this one is from Mco Beauty. Thought it was a Primark lip. I don't like the scent of this, guys. It's in the shade Petal, but I love the shade. Right, so let's put this down here where the Primark one is, and let's remember to try it. Again, we'll probably pull it out in May because it's on the chopping block. Um then we've got this top no it's H&M sorry we've got this H&M one this one is in the shade brunette ambition I really like this when I bought it I mean I've just not used it in such a long time 
again it's more cool right so again we'll put it on the chopping block um there's another primer one here so let's move that um so this one is in the shade rosewood mauve which i remember really liking again glossy this time i buy lipsticks i must say to myself no more glossy lips because i gravitate more towards matte ones um, but i'm going to keep it for now and then again try it so potentially that could be on chopping block so let's wipe these off and move over to this third row okay so we've got a couple of wet and wild ones we've got this one which i absolutely love purty persimmon this one was the first one I got and I got it on the recommendation of Kathleen Lights. Isn't that pretty? So pretty. Um, then I've got Bear It All. Really like these lippers. Then I've got an elf one which I'm not overly keen on. I think I might be putting it as a cream blush because I think it would work well as a cream blush. It's in the shade Nectar. Kelly Gooch absolutely raves about this lipstick. I feel like I'm missing something. I mean, it does look nice. I don't know. I think I need to retry it. And they do one like this wet and wild one in Purty Persimmon. So I might try that as well at some point. Um, then I've got some number seven ones. So I've got Honey Bloom, which again isn't really my shade. I feel like my mum would like that. I'll give it to my mum. And then I've got a red one, which is a blue tone red, which is called Soft Paprika. I might keep this one. got so many reds like that I just don't know who would wear it um I'll keep it for now that's the um Emco Beauty one then we're starting on the top row here so we've got a Rimmel Naughty Nude one that one there that's beautiful keep in even though it is a gloss i've also got an australis color inject in the shade samba is this still okay i don't think it is guys you know no i don't think it is um so i'll declutter that one into the bin my friend from australia got it for me years ago um so yeah i don't think i can keep that one then i've got this wonder woman one let's see yeah that one's still okay still smells of vanilla so that's that one we'll keep that let's get rid of these swatches okay so we've got a couple of kiko ones coming up so this one is in the shade 809 that's another thing about kiko as well i would prefer them to Put the name of a lipstick on a lipstick and not a number um it's a very deep red really nice though isn't it so we'll keep that um then this one's was that 809 yeah this one's 8 or this one's 810 and i absolutely love this i just have to remember to use it more this one is really really glossy as well um so that's those two then we've got this mua luke's i need to put this with the other mua one where is it there um we could probably put those there like that okay so this one is in the shade hot chili what one was that then oh hot coral So 
So that's hot coral. Let sorry, hot chili. Is it? Yeah, hot chili. Let's swatch it against hot coral. Oh yeah, that one's more orange. So we'll keep both of them. Then we've just got these Maybelline ones here. So we've got ten nocturnal rose and it's a powder matte. So that's that one there. That is really really nice. Keeping that one. Then I've got this powder matte in chilling grey. I got this recently. It's like a it is a grey but it's more like a purple tone grey. So I've got this shade craving coral and I've had this so long guys. So that's that one there. It looks like the matte version of this but I want to keep them both. So now we've got actually four spaces there. Um, but I do have some lipsticks in my shop, my stash, that will probably take them slots up. Um, and I do have like a big tray of lipsticks to go through with you now to see if we can declutter anything. So let me just go and exchange this for that. Here we go guys, can you see how, how full it is? Right, so let's see, hopefully we'll be able to declutter some things. Um, so we've got this one from Kiko, it's in the shade 4. feel like I want to keep that one. That one could go in there. These are just empty packets. Not a fan of these really, I might just declutter these into the bin because they're old. This one's in... Abu Dhabi or Abu Dhabi Abu Dhabi no that one's going and then I've got a Lottie London Slay All Day this one is in the shade Work It I do actually like that one it's quite cool tone so we'll keep that I've got this Primark um, Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon in the shade light brown I'll keep that as well I've got this model zone in the shade ruby red I wouldn't say that is a ruby red would you it's more like a raspberry red um, but yeah definitely keeping that it's really really nice um, I've got this Tanya Burr in the shade Pink Cocoa. This one's gorgeous as well, so I'm definitely keeping. I've got this MUA Velvet Matte Longwear Liquid Lip in the shade Hush. That's that one there. I've got this MUA Luke's Velvet Lip Lacquer in the shade Unity. These are new so I'm keeping them. It's very very light, it's like a light lavender. Very very unique. And then I've got this. I've got the same one in the shade Symphonic. Which is purple but if you wear them they're, they're quite nice together so I'll put that on and then I'll put the lighter shade over the top and it kind of mixes them up a little bit I've got this revolution in the shade skinny dip which I like this is a gloss I do have some glosses but just not many that one that's really cool toned right this I'm not even going to bother swatching it. I've had it years at this point. So that can definitely um, go in the bin. Then we've got the Lifter Gloss by Maybelline. It's the only one I've got. I really, really like these guys. And I definitely want to get more of them. I mean, look how nice it is. They're really, really thick as well. 
they're supposed to be a dupe for the Fenty ones. I don't think um, the first ones that they brought out, but they brought lip creams out, didn't they, after them. So, yeah, I think they might be a dupe for that. Right, so the one next soft matte lip cream I'm keeping is this one because it's a beautiful shade. It's in the shade Prague. That one there. I do want to keep that. Then we've got some Kiko lip glosses. Um, this one is in the shade 11. See, I do, I do have some. They look nice over a similar type of lipstick. And then I've got the shade 17. So that's that. I'm going to just take these off. So what else have we got? Oh, we've got this one as well. This Copenhagen one by NYX. I want to keep that as well. It's quite a vampy colour. I don't have too many shades like that. I don't know where to put everything. There's not any room. Okay, we've got the deck of Scarlet in the shade. The lip line is called Tease and then the lip crayon is called Player. So the lip liner is that one. Really vampy. Keep this one as well. And then the lip liner is slightly that with that lip gloss by Revolution would probably make a very similar shade to my favourite lipstick by Primark. Um, I'd need to try them together actually. I've also got a Revolution bullet lipstick in here. It's called Red Carpet. I'm going to put this into my lipstick holder so that's what it looks like. Oh it's a nice matte. I'm going to keep that one. I'm going to actually put that there to try. We've got another Velvet Matte Lipstick Crayon in the labels come off so I don't know what shade it is. That's more peach so I'm actually going to get rid of that. My niece might want it. Oh, now I'm dropping everything. Right, let's get some kind of box for these ones that I know I'm keeping. I've got such a bad head today guys it's horrible I want to keep these packagings what's that the one I'm getting rid of no that's the one I'm keeping right let's carry on shall we I just had to send a quick text message um, so the next one is this. I absolutely love this for spring and summer. It's in the shade Colossal Coral. It needs a sharpen. That's it there. Does need a sharpen. We're definitely going to be bringing that out again soon. And then we've got another lip crayon here. What's this one? Nude Beach. This one's nice as well. So keeping that. Right, this one is probably going to go. I might see if my niece wants it. She'll probably, she'll probably like a good fun colour. This one is in, just a scandalous shade. No, it's in depraved, sorry. Don't know if that's gone bad. I obviously don't want to give her it. No, it seems fine. Um, but that's the shade there. I'll give that to her. This one. I was keeping it for like Halloween looks and things like that but I think I'm just going to get rid of it. It's quite old at this point. It's in the shade Amethyst. Look how bold it is. Yeah we're going to get rid. Then we've got this one. This one is in the shade Sandstorm. I love these NYX liquid suede. So that's that one there. We'll keep that. Um, I've also got this in the shade Kitten Heels. I do need to try this. Um, it's a really nice vibrant red. I need to try it before I declutter it. Now if it starts bleeding or it starts smearing that's when I'll get rid of it. I've also got this NYX Soft Matte Lip Cream in the shade Morocco. I'd like to keep this if there's any left. 
a tiny bit left. Also got this shade in orange counter. This was meant to be a dupe for one of Jeffree Stars. I can't remember what it was called. Look at that. That is absolutely stunning. We're definitely keeping that. Is that not a bit of me or what? Um, I've also got this Revolution in the shade Aquarius, which is my star sign. It's practically come off now, but I do want to keep it. Look how well them, them two shades would go together. I can't remember what shade that was. I think it was a lip crayon. I'm just going to wipe them off. Right, my hands have seen better days from all the lipsticks and all the scrubbing. Um, but you'll just have to ignore that. Next we've got the shade in Soft Spoken. It is a classic by NYX. Oh gosh, it's so pretty. Keeping that for sure. Then I've got another one here. I didn't realise. Oh yeah, this is a new one. It's Brooklyn Thorn. Um, I was just about to say, I didn't realise I had so many liquid suede's. But that's Brooklyn Fawn. Um, so we're definitely keeping that. This uh, model zone is quite new as well. I got this from Poundland. This one is in the shade Adorable. It's one of the velvets. It's very, very sheer. I'm going to use it a couple of times and then make a decision whether I want to keep or declutter. Um, so chopping block again for that. I'm going to just declutter the Chanel one. Um, my sister-in-law got it me years ago and it's probably gone bad. And I don't really use a lot of lip glosses. Looks like there's summer inside it anyway. Um, so we're going to put that in the bin. Then I've got this one from Seventeen. It's their new collection at Boots. So Seventeen used to be a brand back in the day and this is their matte lip and I just thought I would try it. I've not tried it yet. Um, it's in the shade Chilli Red. That's it there. That's a bit of me as well. Um, so yeah, definitely keeping that. Um, Got quite a few Maybelline ones here. We'll do them all together. This model zone one is going. I think this was always bad when I bought it. Literally nothing comes off it. So I can't even pass that over to my niece, which I know she'd love. But yeah, it's going to go in the bin. Mm. Yeah, we've got another Lottie. Slay all day. This one is in the shade Fleek. Which is nice. So we'll keep that for now. Then I've got a Primark one in the shade Vintage. Which is nice. I can't remember if that's smeared. And if it smears then it's going to get decluttered. Again I just need to figure out if I want to keep it so it's on the chopping block. This one here I think I'll give to my niece. I was always meant to give it to her and I've never got round to it. It's a holographic one and you can actually see the glitters in that. So yeah I think she'll like that one so she can take that. Um, then I've got this gingerbread lipstick by W7 doesn't have a shade on it, it's just really really pretty for autumn and winter definitely keeping that this Becca one I think is my backup so I don't, yeah it's brand new, I'm not going to swatch it um, so definitely keeping that one um, then I've got this Tanya Bear one in the shade Christmas stocking, this one's beautiful I've had this ages but it's still not gone bad. Got it in a Christmas advent calendar. And then I think it's it apart from, no we've got one here. So we've got this Primark one in the shade Boudoir Pink. Again really really pretty. Keep that. And then it's just the Maybelline one so I'm going to take these off. No, actually, we've also got the 
NYX lip lingeries but they're somewhere else and we'll go through them in a second and then you will have seen all my lipstick collection and yeah I've not got rid of a lot but I have got rid of some and anything's better than nothing right so we've not done too bad still got a lot of lipsticks this one was the Maybelline and Puma and it was my first Maybelline lipstick I bought and this one is in the shade Unapologetic so I'm keeping all these so that's that one then we've got Groundbreaker that's that one then I've got Visionary isn't that cute packaging it was a limited edition one I think and this one's like more purple grey I've been trying to dupe that primer lipstick but I just can't find anything similar then I've got Huntress which is more of a grey I was going to get rid of anything it would probably be that because there's not many looks you could wear that with um, then I've got Philosopher which is more like lilac pink that's a lot like the MUA one um, I think the only other one is this Maybelline Superstay ink crayon in the shade Hustle it's that one there and there was a Max Factor one, which I think I might, you know, end up decluttering. It's a lip art graphic liner and liquid lipstick. And it is an orange toned red. And I have only wore it once. Let's give it another shot. Um, but that's those. Let's wipe these off before they dry down completely. Look at it guys, I'm going to have to wash it. Um, run it in the washer. Let's try and put some of this on to wash it off. Yeah, that's, that's taking it off. So then, all of them are going back in. It's literally like we've got rid of nothing. But we have, we've got rid of a few. With lipsticks it was never meant to be a ruthless declutter. It was mainly me showing you what I have in my collection. Um, so I'm going to just put this away and then we'll go through what I have in my NYX lingerie cup. And then the video will be over. Right guys, and then I've got all my NYX lingerie ones in here. Um so let's go through these so we've got embellishment it's like a purple grey that's that one we have bedtime flare I do have two of these I accidentally picked another one up which I was supposed to pick a different shade up so that shade was in where the other shade was that I wanted at the time. I can't remember what shade it was. Uh, I ended up with two bedtime flirts because I'd already opened the other shade and used it so I couldn't take it back. Then I've got Ruffle Trim. It's one of my favourites, this shade. So that's Ruffle Trim, sorry. Then I have Lace Detail. This one is really light. This one's on the chopping block. I don't know if I want to keep it. That's it there. It's really peach like and with a gloss. I think it's alright. I think I tried it with a gloss. So that's the other bedtime flare. I'm not going to bother swatching that. Then we've got exotic. No, this is one of my favourites. I think it's just because it's so much darker. Can you see? Um, then we have Teddy, which we're going even darker now. 
that one's Teddy. Then we have Honeymoon, which has got quite a bit of grey in it, even though you can't see it there, but in the tube it does look like it's got a bit of grey in it, grey undertones. I did do some swatches with all these on, so I'll try and find it and try and link it. And this one looks like it's got grey in it as well. This one is Scandalous. Yeah, that's definitely got grey in it. Then I have Beauty Mark. I don't know why I've got so many brown lipsticks. I don't even wear brown lipsticks. And last but not least we have Corset. Which I've just recently found. And I'm going to keep it for now. Um, but again I think that I'll be getting decluttered. If anything out of all this is going to get decluttered. It's going to be corset and less detail. The others I'll probably keep. Um, but keep an eye out over the next few months. Um, because I will be testing certain things. Now I know what I like and what I feel like I'm going to declutter. Oh, that's on the chopping block. I do want to bring a few out each month and just see if I'm going to keep them or declutter them. What I do know is I don't need all these lipsticks. What I'm going to do is I'm going to count all my drugstore lipsticks. I've already put my high-end lipsticks up so I can't exactly count them unless I add it to this video. So yeah, I'll go off now and count them all up and I'll let you know what I do have in the collection still and um, I'll be back shortly. Right, so alone in drugstore lipsticks, we've got 91 guys, 91 drugstore lipsticks um, and we've probably got about half that in high end, maybe a little bit more. Um, so we've decluttered one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Is there anything under that? No. Fifteen. So it's not a bad start. You know, there's po there's potentially gonna be a winter declutter with the rest. Um but yeah that's it for now. Like I said, I don't really know how many high-end lipsticks I've got just because that lipstick collection is already up. As I could actually let you know. Right, and for high-end guys, it's 57. So we've got 158 lipsticks between drugstore and high-end. That is ridiculously insane. So yeah, I'll probably definitely be doing another declutter come winter time and the ones that I'm really not gravitating towards they can just get decluttered. Um but thank you so much for joining me on this declutter series. Let me know if you like makeup collection videos and declutter series by liking this video and um that way I know what content that you like to watch and I will see you in my next video guys. Thank you so much for watching. Bye for now.